The boss of the Commonwealth Bank has vowed to take responsibility for the standards of advice provided by his staff in the wake of the Royal Commission. Many had thought Matt Common's career was on the line during the Commission's hearings, but he's emerged relatively unscathed. Andrew Robertson reports. Unscathed and unbowed, the boss of the bank which sparked the Royal Commission making it clear the lessons have been learnt. We have no tolerance to make the sorts of failures that we did around our advice business and quite rightly I should be and will be held to a very high standard around that. It could have been much worse for Matt Common. In his final report on Monday, Commissioner Kenneth Hayne was scathing in his criticism of NAB Chairman Ken Henry and his CEO Andrew Thorburn. And during the hearings, the Commonwealth Chairman Catherine Livingston had a rough ride at the hands of Senior Counsel Rowena Orr. And do you understand that a failure to comply with the requirements in relation to the keeping of minutes is an offence? And, and I, I assert again that I asked the question and received the response. By comparison, Matt Common's appearance went smoothly and Commissioner Hayne wrote, Mr Common is well aware of the size and nature of the tasks that lie ahead of CBA. The ex-CEO of the Commonwealth Bank uh, has to take responsibility for the shortcomings that, that were uh, evident at the Royal Commission, uh, not Matt Common. Commonwealth Bank's half-year profit was down 6% to $4.6 billion, not helped by around $120 million in costs stemming from the Royal Commission. The result was also affected by tighter lending conditions and tougher economic times. It's been a half where a lot has been thrown at this company and yet they've still managed to keep the interim dividend the same and that really shows the resilience of Commonwealth Bank when it comes to these results. Resilience that may yet be tested if the Commonwealth Bank and some of its executives face criminal charges over the hundreds of millions of dollars wrongly taken from its customers. Andrew Robertson, ABC News.